My name's Alan Hart and today I'm going to give you my opinion on central heating filters. So we've got a few different filters here. We've got the Thernox TF1, we've got the MagnaClean Pro 2 and we've got the Magna Booster 3 from Spyrotech. We've also got their old Spyrotech filter there which is the Magna Booster 2. So I've now been fitting um, central heating filters for probably about 10 years since the first Magna Clean's come out and I went through all the issues with filters leaking I went on to TF1's, they had a few issues with TF1's we went on to these ones which wasn't great in my opinion they didn't collect any muck at all or if they did it was very hard to see so here we've got the Magna Clean Professional 2 Magna Clean Pro 2 if we look inside here, what we've got here We've got this magnet in this, and then it's just covered by this sleeve here. In my opinion, this filter is very effective. So, if you have a look inside there, it's got a drain at the bottom, it's got push fit connections, which again I find very good. And they just push fit onto onto there. The Magna Clean is a very very popular filter. One because it's probably one of the best for collecting snow. Oh, It's got an o-ring in there, it's quite a thick o-ring, and then we'll, we'll take it onto there. Just a few examples here of sludge that we found in central heating systems and how effective the filters are. So here we've got the Spyrotech Magna Booster 3, this has got a magnet that's on the outside, it just slides off. The issue with that is sometimes they can fall off. The clips don't seem to be very good on them. We've got a clip on the inside there, and they can just they can just fall off. I've seen customers with them taped on. Um, this is one we've removed from a system because the system was still sludged. So one thing I do find about these, I found that these valves here are quite faffy. They don't t t tend to fit on very well and when you try and turn them you've got to really be you've got to have a good grip on them so I find that the magnets on these are quite quite small and they don't seem to collect much muck to them um, I've fitted quite a lot of these I've been back to them year after year um, I've cut the filters up as you've probably seen in some of my other videos and I still don't think that they, they catch as much muck as other filters do. We have found orange on the O-rings which seems to indicate it could be sucking oxygen in and causing corrosion. This is one of the samples we've removed from an MB3. So here we've got the Fernox TF1. So we've got the valves. The valves are very reliable. I've never had any issues with valves. Um, the connections here, it's a big flat face, so the rings connecting really well onto that face there. So you just need to nip them up and then they're fine. Um, the early ones of these did tend to have problems with them leaking. So they did leak from here. They did leak from here because this, this design was different on here. And it was this was thinner and the washers tended to just fall in. So they didn't seal very well. And then on the bottom of here, it was just glued on. Whereas now these ones, they have um, they have a washer in here, which again is much better. Personally, I've not had any of these leak at all. You have got to be very careful that you tighten the lid up on the top, tighten it right up to there. And then if you do that, they don't leak. I've, I've never had one of these new ones leak. Um, I think these are a really, really good filter. 
although I don't think they catch quite as much sludge as the MagnaClean does but the benefits to this one is because it's got the valve on the bottom it's easier to clean out it's also easy for um, flushing the system when we're installing a new boiler so for me this is a very 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 good filter my overall opinion of the Thermox TF1 I think this filter is absolutely superb it's very good at collecting sludge probably not quite as good as the magna clean but overall because it's got the valve on the bottom and because you can clean it easier you can just slide the magnet out of the top like that so for ease of use just take that valve off and just clean it out for ease of use there's no better filter on the market in my opinion